Congratulations on Mum's List. What had me in tears was the sheer love between everyone in the family. What was it that you thought made this such a fantastic film? Love was exactly the thing that I wanted to get across. That, that's, that's the message. Um, the, and all sorts of love, whether that's the family love, the love between husband and wife, the love between mother and children, father and children. It was just about making the most of those moments. And most of us hopefully have longevity and we can enjoy that. And we can put ourselves out there and be remembered for a long life. And Kate didn't have that privilege. So it's all about her, her somehow offering that love she had in the form of that list. And I love that it celebrates the very normal things yes. of life yes. as well. But yeah. how precious they are. And that's something that we can, I think, all identify with. Yeah, in fact, it's weird because most <coughs> all movies, you have these big beats, like an action movie, has big action beats, yeah. and a horror movie, big horror beats. And the big beats of this film are very, very small emotional moments. There's a lot of hugging. Mm. The film is made up of a series yeah. of hugs. It struck me only about three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. I've been working on this movie for a year. How many hugs there are in the movie that just work their way through the story, and it's told in the form of affection, even yeah. in the face of, of the worst things happening. I think that's because we all needed it while we were yeah, filming. Because so. it was so, so emotional to film. Everyone was but incredibly every, huggable yeah, and hugging. Yeah. yeah, and then you were telling me about one of the crew who went home every night to yeah. hug his family, literally. Yeah. Oh. And he he drove home to Wales every yeah. night. From he was going to stay. He was going to stay until about a week in. He thought, actually, I, I want to see my, my kids each night. It had that effect. It was yeah. a really profound shooting experience as a result of, of people just realising that, you know, we, we shot in the town where the, where the story actually yeah. took place. So we were treading in their footprints. And I think that affected everyone, didn't it? Absolutely. Really? And that the family were with us all yes. the way through the shoot. Yeah. How important was Singer's involvement to you in making the film? Massive. Yeah, massive. His, his involvement was massive. Yeah. His support was massive. I mean, he came for breakfast pretty much every yeah. day. You used him as a massive resource, didn't you, for yes. Kate, obviously. So we went and um, we sat in a pub for a couple of hours and I asked him a lot of questions about um, each scene in the film because I wanted to know where Kate was emotionally and physically, which was an awkward thing to ask someone to talk about. And Singe is so generous. Um, so he was very open and said it was okay to talk about anything and um, and then we cried a lot and then he's really funny about it because he says that a friend of his came it up did. afterwards and said are you breaking up with her? <laughs> <laughs> you worry that's Amelia Fox <laughs> Which is sort of, I think, <clears throat> you know, it's a real sort of symbol of what everything about this film and about their mm. lives are, is that through mm. tears you yes. find joy yes. as well yeah. and things. And that is so, Singe is such a positive, amazing human yeah. being. I, had to, I kind of had to prepare him for, for the experience of what this would be, yeah. that, that a process of making a movie, the writer puts themselves into it, so I did, the director puts him or herself into it, the yeah. actors put themselves in it, it will become removed yeah. from the true story until <laughs> the film's finished, and then it will go, bam, right back at him, yes. in that suddenly there's a 100-minute essence yes. of an experience he went through presented back at him, yeah. and just to prepare him for that, because it must be incredibly surreal. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Apart from anything else, apart from the tragedy of what happened, to then have a film made of that and that experience in itself. But he's the kind of guy who takes, and this is the life he had with Kate, take every experience and squeeze every bit out of it. It's fantastic. And he's doing that with, with this, with yeah. his boys, and they've adopted that. They, they're just like him and Kate. Yeah. They want life at its fullest. Was there anything that you feel perhaps that you individually or, or as a group or as a town learned from Kate? What was the lesson that she kind of taught everyone? Live life to the full. It really was. Make the most of every moment with those you love who love you. And I think that, um, I mean, seeing how collectively everyone came together. That was incredible. Um, yeah. The sort of united feeling that a group can bring to support something which has been so difficult, you know. Um, I really, I took from that, you know, that the family have been supported mm. and then we were supported. Mm. Actually, the school, and you're I right, we shot at the school. We, we shot, shot yeah, at the school. The very school, my boys go to the school, Tom and Joe, oh, with Reef and Finn, mm. we did at the time. And I spoke with uh, Stephen Webber, the headmaster, and said, look, we, we're not shooting in the house, we're not shooting in the, the crematorium where the funeral took place to get some distance. Do you want us to find another school? He said, no, 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 we, we are very mm. proud as a school of how we were able to use our resources to support Singe and the boys when we were going through this. And he said, and we would love to have the school featured in the film. And I think even though Kate would never have known that this was going to happen, the fact that she was preparing for the future, yeah. for 
the boys and for Singe. And in fact, now everyone wants to be part of the future, which means that Kate is omnipresent always, and you definitely feel that. Anything to do with this film. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I think that's yeah. really a, an amazing thing. It feels like she sort of lives on, doesn't well, she? Well, I think, I think that, was the biggest, that was the biggest thing. I was, uh, that was the thing I was most adamant about with myself, um, was that uh, the book, naturally, it's Singe's memoir, so it follows his perspective. The film has to follow Kate home. It has to do that. We have to see Kate, and it, she can't. She's not here to speak for herself or to tell mm. her story. And the film was going to do that. And the minute you put the, the face of Kate in that film, yeah, it, it, that, that's going to seep through the entire movie and how it's received. And it felt like we owed Kate the best that we could do.